What's up guys, this is The Osprey Show and we're back again with more Star Wars Black Series figures. This time we have a bunch of exclusives. So these are all figures, you know, that are exclusive to the stores that we have picked up. So we're going to take a look at them here. So first up here we have an exclusive. I don't know what it's exclusive to, I just know it's like an exclusive figure. But it's this Star Wars from the comic book series, Luke Skywalker. But it's kind of like the Yavin Ceremony Skywalker we did in last week's episode. It's pretty much the exact same figure, but it just doesn't come with the Yavin metal. It comes with more. And so again, there's the cover of the comic book that it was from. I don't know if it shows anymore on the back. It just says Skywalker Strikes, and you, there's a, some information there if you want to read that. But if we open it up, so it's kind of like a book, and there, if we open it up, you can see the stuff. So there is the loop there. Again, looks exactly like the one we did last week. Again, the Yavin Ceremony, just no metal around his neck is the only difference. But then this figure also comes with a bunch of accessories. So we've got his lightsaber. We have the training droid ball thing there that shoots out, and Luke deflects and stuff. We have a gun there, which he kind of came with in the Yavin one. He has the helmet with the blast shield down, and then he has a case with some like Jedi books in and stuff. So a bunch of different accessories there to go along with it. So that's pretty cool. And then we have some Walmart exclusive figures. So first up we have the Jedi Knight Luke. So there's Luke. You know it's supposed to be from the beginning of Return of the Jedi where like we see Luke building his new green lightsaber which he has there and everything. So it's kind of that he's just in the all black Jedi robes with the brown cloak over the top. So that looks cool. And then from there we also have the Walmart exclusive Force Spirit Yoda which is just a Yoda figure but he's got all the like metallic -y blue painted over him. The C3 cloak and everything they did a thing just like this with an obi-wan which i don't have but i did get the yoda just because you is my favorite character so i thought i'd get it but it's the exact same yoda we've had before and then from best buy we have ig11 which is pretty cool so ig11 from the mandalorian which so far i don't know spoilers or anything but we do reviews of mandalorian here on the channel so you can check those out but he has only appeared in one episode so far and i hope he comes back at some point in time and it's just not gone from the show forever so we'll have to see if nothing's been revealed yet in the show at this point but that's pretty cool there and we were able to find that at Best Buy luckily. And then we go to our last few figures here. So then we have the GameStop exclusive Purge Stormtrooper which I got this from getting Jedi Fallen Order. Again I've got videos of that up on the channel so you can check those out if you want to see that. But I got the set that came with the game and the Purge Trooper but of course now I've heard they're just selling the Trooper outright like if they have it. Which kind of upsets me because you know I specifically bought the disc version of the game just to get this because I wanted the digital copy but to get this fi exclusive figure that we had no clue what it was at the point you had to get the disc version so I ended up buying it to get this and then now they're just selling it in stores if you're lucky to find one so kind of disappointed with that but it looks pretty cool purse troopers are cool and hard to beat in the game so it's kind of cool we got that and then the last one is the target exclusive C-3PO and Babu Frick again from Star Wars Rise of Skywalker so if you've seen the trailers you kind of have seen this before so it yeah just target exclusive C-3PO classic looking body and everything he has Chewbacca's like bandolier wrapped around him I think that's what it is and like Chewbacca's crossbow but then we've got little Babu Frick there that goes with him and C-3PO does a couple things we'll take a look at. So all pretty cool figures here for all these exclusive. I'm excited for a bunch of these and I'm excited to get into these. So let's go jump in but don't forget to hit that thumbs up on the video if you enjoy and subscribe down below please so you never miss a video. Let's go ahead and check out these guys. So this look again from the comic series but it looks exactly like the Yavin Ceremony Luke we did last week so you can check that video out if you want to see it. But again it's the exact same figure so like up at the face I think it looks amazing with their new face scan and everything. Looks pretty close to Mark Hamill. Looks a lot like Luke Skywalker. I like his hair, the blonde hair, with that 80s hairstyle cut there. All nice, neat, and everything has the part down the middle. I like the details of the blonde or yellow paint on top with the dark underneath. It looks really good there. Then he's got the yellow jacket over the top with the brown details, so brown like down the zipper and the pockets. And again, reminiscent of like a bomber jacket or whatever in the Star Wars universe. Has some rankings there on the patch, it looks like. He has the black shirt underneath. Again, I said this last time too, it looks like he's got Han Solo's outfit on. So he's got the black shirt, again, very similar to what Han Solo wears. Of course, Luke wears this as the Jedi we'll see here in a little bit has a very similar style shirt on there but then he's got the brown pants again with the yellow stripe down leg look exactly like Han Solo's belt on with a holster here and has a little thigh strap on everything again very reminiscent of Han Solo even down to the boots where he's got the black boots there look almost like the Imperial boots Han Solo wears so I like said I feel he just raided Han Solo's closet to get some clothes and stuff but it looks very good though for movements though the head can twist and not a little bit again the hair again gets in the way with the collar arms do come out a little over 90 degrees and then of course can rotate he has a single elbow joint that has the twist in it as well. Wrist can twist around and 
somewhat flex around, but the sleeves of the jacket don't allow it to move too much. He has a slight ab crunch and twist kind of in the chest area. The legs don't come out too much. You have to kind of like twist them to the side to get them to raise up a little, just the way they're designed, pretty weird. But it can come out to the side more and then back hardly at all. And again, the holster kind of gets in the way of the movements on that leg. Has a thigh twist, again, holsters in the way though. Double knee joint there. And then the foot can obviously flex and twist. So very basic figure here. Nothing too special going on there, but I like the way it looks. They did a really good job with the design overall. There's not too many issues with the quality or anything. Just looks very good. But he comes with a lot of accessories. So first off, he's got a gun here. So just a little gun he can shoot with. We'll go ahead and stick that in the holster. So there it goes in there like that. And then, of course, this one comes with a lot of accessories. So first off, we have his lightsaber. Again, Anakin's former lightsaber there. That Obi-Wan gives to him. So we'll go ahead and, of course, put that in his hand because he's got to have the lightsaber. Just like that. Uh, then we've got some accessories. So I think this came from Obi-Wan's house. I'm not sure. I was reading the stuff on the back, and it's been so long since I've read that actual comic but it says he goes back to obi-wan's house after the death star and run in with dark Vader and stuff he goes back to obi-wan's house to try and find more stuff related to the jedi and so i assume that's where he gets this from again i'm not 100 sure but it's just a little case here has some orbesh there right or i assume orbesh there writing on it so just a brown little case that opens stuff has a little clasp and everything you can open it and then you put this book in it which i again assume is like a jedi book of some sort one of the books we saw like in the last jedi again with more writing on it so you just can place that inside there now that's so Luke has a little case there for the Jedi book. And then, of course, we have the training ball. So I think that's what it's called. But it's just a ball yeah, on this nice peg. We had to pop in so it's on a thing that can twist around. So it can, you know, be like it's flying around and everything. So it's pretty cool. It's got that there. So, of course, Luke does the training session with the ball and stuff. Like we saw in A New Hope, but he does it again. And so then we get the blaster helmet that goes on. So it's the Rebel helmet. It looks very much just like Luke's helmet in general. But it has the blast shield down on it. So we can go and slide that onto his head. So there it goes on like that. Again, the helmets fit really good this one's a lot tighter though than they have in the past and you can even see his nose is kind of poking out of the shield and i can't get it on straighter like i can't get there we go kind of got it twisted around on there so there it's kind of more centered on his head there so there we can get him into the training with the ball now unfortunately i tried to get his hands together but i think with the jack and stuff i can't really get his hands close enough to like completely hold the lightsaber so i'll just have to make him do it one-handed this time but then we also get a little blast effect i assume just clips onto the lightsaber so it's like you know he blast blocked one of the shots from the ball and everything there's like that so that's a pretty fun set i really like this a lot i really like all these uh accessory stuff i thought maybe the blast went on the droid but i don't see anywhere i guess there's a hole there maybe you can like uh get it even closer and, and there kind of attach it maybe stick that into there so it's like it's actually shooting out you just have to get it real close to loop though um but yeah it has a little hole in there again i don't know if that's what this is supposed to do or not if this goes in there but it's pretty cool so kind of like that again it's kind of curved and stuff i have to get the ball in the right place so yeah it kind of sticks in there and it's pretty close though like i said but yeah that you can kind of do that so that's pretty cool there for the loop and speaking of luke we have jedi knight luke and again this is from return of the jedi when he turns into the jedi knight version and right when he goes to visit jabba and everything Thing. so that's why we have the cloak on i'll just show it to you now I, i'll be taking it off because i don't like the way it looks I, I don't think black series does good with cloaks um, i might th just think you know the sewing especially the way it looks there i think it'd look better if it had a clasp or anything but it has the hood you can put up which they always do way too much material but the way they've been sewing stuff at least lately um they at least make it look good so like there when that's on i think it looks really good just the way they've sewn it but as you can see all this material in the back here so it's just way too much material but i think they've done a lot better with the way they sew stuff up and everything it makes it look a lot better but yeah we'll go ahead and take that off to actually see luke but yeah so he comes with the brown cloak there but here we've got jedi knight luke and again i really like this the jedi knight luke though he's one of my favorite versions so i like him in the all black attire but if we look at his face there he goes same exact face at least pretty similar it looks very close to mark hamill and stuff i like the look the face looks really good the hair is a little bit different it's more of a brown color this time so i like how they modify of course the last one is based off a comic book so they're going to exaggerate the blonde more so i like that it was more yellow but still looks very good very similar to hair design stuff just a little bit different though and then he's in the all black attire so he has like the black tunic up top there then the black outfit underneath and again it's hard to see you could probably take this um, outer covering off even but underneath he has that black shirt i was talking about but then yeah it's just underneath it's just all black color down to the black boots even and again movements are going to be pretty much the same so arms come out above 90 rotate around single elbow joint with the rotation wrist twist around and flex as usual he does have again a crunch and a twist there like in the chest area but again covered up by the tunic there legs come out 90 degrees back and 
off to the side a little, thigh twist, double knee joint, and then the foot can flex and twist at the bottom as usual. So again, very good here. Now, of course, without all the stuff, he moves a lot better. And of course, seeing his leg up like that reminds me when he does the kick and everything. So that's kind of cool there. So I really like that look a lot. And then for accessories, he comes with some cool stuff. So he has the new foot pad thing, the things they're adding with some characters. I don't know why not all of them. It seems to be more exclusive figures they're adding it to, but it's just the thing. So you just take their foot and slide it into it. But then, of course, you'd have to like get it adjusted weird because their foot's off the thing now. So I don't understand that whole thing. Um, and it seems kind of too big for his foot. Like I can't even get his foot in there. I guess you have to just kind of slide in. But maybe if you like twist his body around more or something, you can then make it look, I don't know. But um, so yeah, just add the whole little stand here and it says Star Wars Black Series on it, which is cool. And then he also comes with a gun here. So he has a gun, which I guess is pretty cool. I don't really remember ever seeing him use a gun. I'm not 100% sure though, but I've seen this gun before. So that's just kind of thing so we can put that in his one hand So there we go Luke has a gun and then of course we have to have his new lightsaber constructed lightsaber with the green blade on it Which of course is always my favorite I always love the green color so that is awesome So we're definitely gonna put that in his hand so there we go So we have Jedi Knight Luke there with the green lightsaber He has a gun in his hand and his all black outfit attire and everything so again looks pretty cool It seems that the foot thing does work a little bit better on the right foot I don't know why but it's again still weird and awkward and everything but that's pretty cool there for the Jedi Knight Luke Then next up we have the force spirit yoda or force yoda and this i'm not going to mess around with too much because i don't want to mess up his outfit but again it's the exact same yoda we've had in the last when they did the reissue and everything so nothing too different but there's a look at his face again it has a metallic blue painting just like covering all of it to give it like the forced look but it looks pretty good so it looks very similar to you know the classic looking yoda very like chubby face and everything ears coming off the size face stuff of course his white hair hanging down there he does have the blistle still around his neck which is just a little musical instrument and i like even his cloak is so his brown outfit there there is all like metallic -y purple there and then again the color of cloak there it's like a see-through just very thin um, yellowish color robe over the top of it there's you can see the metallic -y purple belt there his hands are like a almost clear see-through color and it's got the metallic blue on it same with his feet and legs there as you can really see them and everything and they even has a, another brown material underneath it there like for his lower parts there so again very cool again I'm not gonna do all the movement stuff because I don't want to mess up his robes too much or anything but yeah it's just a Yoda we've seen before you can see videos of it on the channel and everything um, but he does also come with the cane as well so again all the metallic paint on it so you can just take that and obviously just slide that into his hand as well so you have old force yoda just standing there waiting to talk to luke and everything so you could probably set up a kind of a cool scene there and everything but yeah that's pretty cool there for the yoda and next up we have ig11 which again from mandalorian and i thought that he was pretty fun and cool voiced by taika watiti and everything so pretty cool again another ig droid we've seen ig88 in the past with bounty hunters and we've had the figure before and now now we have IG-11 again, which not much difference. I mean, I'm, I know there is differences, but I didn't bring the IG-88 figure to show the difference. But the really only thing that signifies the difference is the double bandolier there are on his chest and everything. That's really the only thing that's different. But as you can see, just classic IG. So we have the look at the head there. Of course, the like thermoses or whatever from the cantina is what that was designed. So we have the head there, of course, with all the little gauges and stuff going around. I like the red on the inside. And then, of course, we just have his main robotic body and stuff, little claw hands there and down to his weird clunky feet at the bottom he's got good movement so so the head can obviously twist around everything and if you've seen the mandalorian he, he like completely spins around and everything it's all pretty cool which you probably do if he didn't have these this bandolier on we could probably twist him there but it, unfortunately i want to leave the bandolier on so we're not going to do that the arms don't have a whole lot of movement so they go out to the side like that you know the 90 degrees maybe a little bit over and then they twist around but that's all the real movements they do there and it does have an elbow joint there as well so you can see the elbow joint so it goes forward and backwards so pretty good range of movement there of course there's his hand but doesn't do anything he has the crunch and twist there so right at his chest as you can see so he goes pretty far in each direction you could probably get him a lot more again but the bandoliers in the way and then obviously twist as well so you can see the bandoliers are all twisting there so like i said he could definitely twist in a circle there then we've got his legs so his legs do come out there about 90 degrees and they go back and forth so that's the thing with this robot especially from the show you see him he just completely switches back and forth from front to back and everything so that's why so you can either go forward or back and everything is just made pretty much the same so you could even probably get confused about which is the front which is the back and then lower down he does have a knee joint there so he has just a single knee joint there so it's kind of cool that they have even had that i think i missed that on the ig88 one i did oh he also has a thigh twist right up in there i don't know exactly how to 
like describe it, but it's a thigh twister, so you can twist it back and forth. And then his feather bomb just flexes back and forth there like that. So again, you can twist them all around and everything, and then he has the bandolier there, so got some, you know, ammo and stuff there on the back. Has a little pocket there for his gun. So it looks very cool. I really love the look of the IG droids. I think they did a great job transferring into figures and everything, so that is really cool. And then he, of course, comes with weapons, so he has more of a rifle here, which again is what we can stick into his back, so you can put the rifle there into his back and stuff, so he has that, but we can also just take it and stick it into his hand. So with the, his rifles, he has a hole there in it, and he has a little peg there, so you just always take it and stick it into the peg. So kind of like that, so you just slide it onto that peg, and that is how he holds it. So I may put it in the wrong hand, not that it really matters, but as you can see, it clamps more closer to the trigger, and then the peg sits a little bit better, because this one has an additional little peg here that kind of got in the way, where it's not on this side, so it fits better, and then this one has a shorter thing in the back there, so it kind of fits a little bit better. So if we put this on, just like that, as you can see, this gun fits a lot better into that space as well. It just fits perfectly there in his hands. There we go, just like that, dual wielding and ready to kick butt and do what he did. So you can flip all around, shoot behind him and everything. So that is really cool there. I really like this IG-11 droid. So then we have the Purge Trooper, and again from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I fought a couple of these people so far, and of course they're always like the bane of my existence. I can never beat them. In the first try, it always takes me multiple tries to figure them out and everything. But they look super cool. I love the all black attire, so very reminiscent of the Death Troopers. And then I like the red details they put into and stuff. So like there's a look at the mask. A different take on the classic Stormtrooper style helmet there. I like the red little visor and stuff. And then the red even details there on the side of the mask for the breather and everything. Looks very cool. Even the details there on the back of the helmet. And then again, the all black Stormtrooper armor. I like the padding up top here. Makes it, you know, that they're higher ranking and everything with the red padding there. And on the shoulder pads, they even have the Empire logo there in red. And I like the white details with the red stuff there on the arm again to, you know, the control buttons and everything. He's got a belt on with all sorts of like pockets and everything there. Um, has the like skirting hanging down from him. So the black skirt with the red outline even has these little red detail things there I don't even know what they're for but those are on there and then again continuing with the black armor down the legs has the little white details there on it from could be like rankings or something again not sure I haven't looked into the purge troopers too much and then all the way down to the black feet so nothing real too special going on there just another stormtrooper they're all kind of plain and basic but it looks really cool though in the all black and red so movements though the head's going to twist and not as usual shoulders come up just a tiny bit the shoulder pads and then especially this pad but even on this side we don't get too much range of movement going on there which is kind of weird because they move all over in the game so should have better range movements but in the figure it doesn't but it does have a bicep twist and a double elbow joint which is kind of rare it seems like for star wars figures and then the wrist will twist and flex as usual ab crunch and twist there at the chest right on the arm or though right in the abdomen legs do come out about 90 degrees but again you have to do the like twist over to the side to do it and has the thigh twist there under the armor double knee joint and then the foot flexes just a little bit you can go back just a little bit because the armor gets in the way but forward a little bit more and then has the twist as well. So one thing that's cool about the Purge Trooper, which we don't really get it here, which I'm kind of disappointed, is all the weapons. So the first, I think the very first Purge Trooper you come across has like this gun. It's just a like a very long rifle. It shoots grenades and everything, and which of course shoots blast out at you and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and stick that in his hand. So there we got the long rifle there. Of course, you can always do like the double hand stuff again. So I like I said, I think that's the very first Purge Trooper you come into the game has like that gun on it. And then he also comes with like just the normal classic gun there too. We'll just go make head and make him dual wield it. So there in his hand, but again, he doesn't hold it too well because it's made, uh, obviously, to go into the other hand, and he doesn't have a holster or anything, so we can't put that other gun on him. One thing that's cool, so in the game, like, each perch troop you come across has different forms of weapons, so, like, a lot of them have, like, the electro staffs and stuff, so they can fight with Jedis a lot more and everything, so um, I wish they would either make more purge troopers that come with the different weapons, or I think they should have just made one that came with a, a couple different weapons. I assume there's a lot more. I've only seen about three different ones, three or four maybe different ones, so it'd be cool to maybe see some different weapons and stuff but they only included the gun with it but like I said I think that's the very first one you come across so they probably didn't want to spoil too much with the game or anything but very cool there for the Purge Trooper and our last figure here is the C-3PO again so right off the bat here just the way he is without all the other accessories he just looks like a plain classic C-3PO which I'm completely fine with you know I love the look of classic C-3PO and I think this figure looks amazing I really love the look of it so obviously his all gold robot body he's back to his normal arms and gold legs so he's all put back together to normal again and I like how you can see all of the wiring everything there and his internals and stuff the little circle there on his chest and stuff classic for C-3PO and there at the back and stuff you can see all the stuff so just very classic C-3PO so we'll go ahead and do moon stuff so his head can twist and nod a little so his arms don't move a whole lot true to C-3PO but they do have a rotation there right at the shoulder and then they do move inside of the joint there it's on like a ball so it does you know have some different range move back and forth and then up and down there he has of course the elbow joint there that doesn't move too much it's got a very limited range has like the little 
hydraulic type thing in there too so it can only move within that range and then his hand can obviously twist around and flex and then of course right there at his abs he does have the crunch and then can twist a little back and forth there as well so good movements though legs do come up a little bit again if you twist them you can get them to raise just a little bit there it has the thigh twist in there as well the single knee joint which is kind of cool though for the joints for c3po so it goes back that far until it you know interferes with stuff but then it can also go a little bit forward so he can have like a backwards leg almost which is kind of cool there so he's got that double movement leg there and then the foot flexes and twists side to side down at the bottom all as usual so nothing too special though for c3po but one thing that's cool which is kind of unfortunate you can see his eyes so he's supposed to have like the yellowish color eyes but they did the effect into it where they turn red if it like gets cold and unfortunately i'm in a basement and it's kind of cold down here so the eyes are starting to turn red which of course i didn't really need to but um so this figure is mine and my brother also got one and so we in here he opened his figure so i went and put it in the freezer and there you can see the redness of the eyes of course from the trailer that we've seen and stuff his eyes are red for a short time and you can i don't know if you can really see it but he's kind of even frostied up and everything that he's been in the freezer for quite a while but yeah that's the colors eyes go to but then I wish I could get it normal I tried to put my hand on it to try and like warm it up a little bit just to see if it would lessen in there you can kind of, it's just a little bit lighter shade of pink there but they normally look like yellow and stuff but that's kind of cool that's like I think an old thing toys used to do we don't get that much anymore but that's pretty cool there that has that so that's cool for C3PO but then he of course comes with some accessories and I guess he's not really accessory but we have Babu Frick which I will read stuff from the box for him but he's just a little tiny little mechanic droid there I like how the only thing that really moves on him too much is his visor here so you can put the visor on, so he's like welding and everything but just a little itty bitty tiny creature there so his arms do have some range of movement they're on like just little ball joints so you can twist them around and everything he has like a little loincloth and stuff and then he does twist there as well and you can probably get him so in the movie he's on the back of c-3po which is another thing i forgot about c-3po is that his head comes off so unless you mess around with it and just have him to knock it off you don't really figure it out but his back of his head does come off so just like that so that's what he looks like from the back there with the little thing so again it sticks on pretty well so it doesn't really just fall off unless you do it too much it'll probably loosen up but so we can open the back of his head and then like I said in the trailer we see Babu Frick kind of like standing on his back here messing around with the back of his head and stuff and that's when his eyes get turned red and all that. So that's pretty cool there. Nice little Babu Frick. He actually stands up you know no issue standing or anything so that's pretty cool. That little tiny thing like that could easily get messed up and everything but he stands pretty well and everything reminds me of the Porgs they made a while ago so that's pretty cool. And then of course we have the other accessories so we have Chewbacca's bandolier here so we've got that. We can go ahead and slide on over C-3PO there. So we'll just put that there on his shoulder just like that to carry the bandolier again not sure what this has to do with the movie i'm kind of worried that he's got all of chewbacca's weapons and stuff but it's pretty cool though that he does use the weapons and hold the stuff so we got that and then of course we have chewie's crossbow which there we got c-3po's hands made so he can hold a gun and everything so that's pretty cool so we'll go ahead and slide this in so there we go we got c-3po with chewbacca's crossbow's bow caster which is pretty cool and again this was kind of spoiled in like think like the very first poster for the movie they released it shows c-3po holding chewbacca's gun but that's pretty cool there for the c-3po so that's going to be it for the Star Wars Black Series exclusive figures. I hope it would have arrived on time, but we also did get the Heavy Mandalorian Trooper from Best Buy, that exclusive. But it's not arrived yet, and I don't think it's supposed to arrive for another couple of weeks, unfortunately. So um, I was wanted to add that into this set as well, but unfortunately we don't have that yet. But these are all pretty cool. I love all of these figures. So everyone, none of these have disappointed me. I really love each thing and what they added with them and stuff. So very cool set here. So of course we had the Luke, the comic exclusive version with all the additional details based off the Avon character. The Jedi Knight Luke from Walmart, the Force Spirit Yoda from Walmart, the IG-11 from Best Buy, the Purge Trooper from GameStop, and the C-3PO with Babu Frick from Target. So again, all these exclusive characters are pretty cool, and I love each one of them. And I hope you do too. If you do, let me know in the comments down below who is your favorite out of this set, or do you have any of these? And also leave a thumbs up for me, and of course subscribe to the channel to see more Star Wars stuff here on the channel. You can check out our Mandalorian views, our Jedi Fallen Order gameplays. We have all sorts of Star Wars stuff on the channel. Go ahead and check those out. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to stay awesome and I'll see you next time.